Hi guys, welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 where we are in Stavanger having just dropped off our last cargo we don't need to rest at the moment we've got about eight and a half hours so what I'm going to do is select a new job and coming out of Stavanger Yup, pot flowers from Ikea Stavanger to Raven in Rackbeer in Estonia. So that's where we're going to go. So let's get out of Stavanger. I guess this might be the way out. Looks pretty good. Get out of here. So if you remember we came up quite a long road just to get into the quarry. Some beautiful views as we go up here I must say. Very nice. And that way over the river I assume that is. Okay so I'm just heading out of here. This is the road we came in on. Quite an unusual depot that quarry one. Previous profiles I've been to quarries before, they've not been quite like this one, so it's a bit different, Norwegian style. Very pleasant scenery I must say. Beautiful. Surprised it's a fifty mile an hour limit down here, but there you go. I thought it would have been slower than that. It's quite a sort of minor road and um, single track carriageway, so you might have to give way to something coming the other way. And it's 50 mile an hour, which seems quite high, but there you go. So we'll head out. And we're heading down to Ikea to pick up some pot flowers. Which is about 36 miles away. So it shouldn't take us too long to get there. Looks like we have to go right at the end here. Journey to Estonia, I imagine we're going to have to rest on the way before the ferry. So, probably be that we'll cut the video when we rest and then start again from there. Then get the ferry and then we should get into Estonia without too many problems. So it should be two parts, I would think. First, we need to get the job. So let's just head down here. Our key is down this way somewhere. Having left the quarry, we're now heading into the city of Stavanger, I would imagine. Not sure whether we came in this way or not, to be honest, but a little tunnel here. Been a very short one, but and I think we're now approaching Stavanger. Or coming down to a road very close to it, let's put it like that. You can see the uh, truck maintenance symbol has appeared on the map, so I think that's the city there. There's a discoverable there, which we might get as we go by. Depending on how the road layout looks, it might be worth just taking a slight detour off the road to go past that. So we're going right here. Signpost definitely says to Vanga. A lot easier to get around those when we've got a trailer on the back, that's a sure fact. Quite narrow, some of these. 
You don't want a wide load coming down there necessarily. You might be struggling. Okay, so we're coming out onto this road, but then going off immediately to go into Stavanger itself. I like this was a little way away, but I'm sure we can we'll probably find a way round to um, discover that on the way in. Might be worth doing while we're here. Can't do any harm, wouldn't take very long. After these long sweeping bends, and then it's coming up to what we in the UK refer to as a T junction. We need to go left here. Coming to a roundabout by the look of it. There's some flags here. I wondered if that is a truck jig or something, but I don't think it can be. Okay, so let's just head down here. Red traffic light, moving to the left here. should be turning left here to go into Ikea but what I'm going to do is head straight on so that I can go around where that discoverable is shouldn't be a lengthy task at all Here, straight on at this one and then round to the right will get us to it. I guess round here is it? Yeah, I think so. Right round here. recruitment agency. So we discovered a recruitment agency in Stavanger. I can't see any other discoverables so it doesn't look like there's a truck dealer here. And the lights are changing. We can go left and just round a couple of corners and we'll be back at Ikea so we're not far away at all. To get a view of that traffic light. The mirror seems to be right in the way. That's it, it's changing now. It's fine, we can go across here. And then right here. There are flags around. None of them seem to be a lorry dealer. Quite keen on flying flags in Stavanger, by the look of it. And so we just need to go around here. Left here, and our key is on our right. There it is. OK, 
guess this is the entrance here. Yes, that looks about right. Okay, so we'll just take the job, hopefully. Yep, there it is. We'll take that. Thank you. Gate is opening for us. Trailer's just over there. So let's have a look. So we've got our new truck now, so we have a bit more power than we did before. Another 60 horsepower, so hopefully that will be noticeable. Now attach the trailer. And off we go. So we're going off to Estonia. Certainly a new area, we've not been there. I think the exit is here. Yep, there it is. There's the security guy. Drive up to the gate. There we go. You just get quite close to the gates, but once you get there, they open nicely for you. And that should be okay. Okay, so let's just ease out of here. Fine, we're going left here. Pretty much the way we just came into it, I think. And then down to the right. Looks like just about every place of any size has flags flying. Normally when you see the flags flying it means it's a truck dealer, so it sort of makes you think, oh, truck dealer, but it's not. Anyway, round about here where we're going to go left. Those houses look very Norwegian style, I must say. Imagine that's pretty much what they look like in Norway. I like the way each country has its own sort of architecture, you can clearly see uh, that it looks like it fits to the country, which is really cool. Fine, going down here, and we need to go left at the end of this road, or perhaps before the end of the road actually. Left here, oh the airplane coming out, we're obviously close to the airport. The airport perimeter might be just on our right here, I think. Could be the airport over there. Anyway, we need to go this way. And on to there. And on we go. So, how far is it? A thousand miles, just over. A thousand and eighty. So, I definitely think it'll be at least two parts. So, this is going to take 34 hours, but some of that will be ferry time. Maybe three parts. We may have to rest twice on the way to this, but we'll see. Should be discovering lots of new road on the way. And that will put our road explore percentage up. And Estonia's completely new country, new city. All to add to the list. Tick them off as we go. Estonia 
Is that in the Rus map area again? I would imagine. Possibly. Would it come under Project Balkans? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's where we're headed. Okay, so it looks fairly straightforward at the moment. Is this the same tunnel we're going through on the way in? Possibly. Going through a very short tunnel on the way in, so this may be the same one. Beautiful scenery, you know. I mean, Norway is, I believe, very pretty. And I've not been there, but I'm told it's very pretty. But certainly this looks very nice. On a nice sunny day. You can't beat a nice sunny day. I'm not sure what the rain probability is set on. I mean, it's set on the default. I don't think I've changed it. So... We don't seem to be getting that much rain so far in our career, but that could change. So we've sort of gone around Stavanger to get back down to this side. We've got a fuel station here, but we've got plenty of fuel at the moment. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. We're on about three quarters of a tank. We may well have to refuel somewhere, but not yet. We'll look for that as we get closer to our destination. Bit of shame to leave some of this scenery behind. It's very, very nice, I must say. Those hills, or are they mountains potentially, in front of us? Very nice. So this has really been our first experience of the Scandinavian DLC, our trip into Norway. Oh, look at that, that looks pretty. Ours is right on the edge of a lake there. Was that a fjord? I have no idea. I'm not sure quite what the definition of a fjord is. Are they? They have ice flows or something on fields. Possibly. Not sure. Anyway, let's head out. Follow this guy. Bus coming the other way. Very pretty scenery. Beautiful. I'm very impressed with Norway, I've got to say. It's very nice. There's another tunnel here going through this hill. Oh, he's turning off. So we're going through this way. Rest area the other side, but that's too early for us. We've still got nearly enough five hours. Could get quite a way in five hours, hopefully get well into the journey by then. Be a bit careful coming around here, You're very close to the rocks. On to a bridge. I guess that's sea rather than river. Imagine that's where it goes out to the sea, possibly. Anyway, we will now be heading down here, but we're speeding slightly, so let's need to slow down a bit. It may have been downhill, and that's why we were picking up speed rather quicker than I expected. It certainly looks downhill now. Look at this. I'm going to say they're Norwegian fields because it sounds nicer. It's how driven past fields as opposed to a lake, which sounds a bit boring in comparison to a field. Okay, so we're speeding again. Right, there we go. We've got the cruise control enabled now. That should be better. 
or would be if it wasn't for the fact that we've got some quite tight bends. So oh, Estonia, I think this is another of the ex-Russian states. Came out of the breakup of the USSR, as far as I'm aware. I think it's somewhere near Latvia, Lithuania, way Estonia. Eastern Europe, that's a sure fact. A little bridge, very nice. So we're heading through these hills by the look of it. There should be a tunnel coming up somewhere, I would imagine. Unless the road just winds and goes through the hills somewhere, but I thought we could be looking at a tunnel again before too long. I only think if the game went into like a winter mode, those hills would look beautiful with snow on them and all of that. And I think the driving wouldn't be anywhere near as easy. But snow and ice all over the roads. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, the, the scenery would look beautiful with snow on it, I would imagine. Which I imagine you get quite a while in Norway. Imagine they have quite a bit of snow in the winter, quite long winters potentially, by UK standards anyway. We don't get hardly any snow really these days, certainly not in my area anyway, we didn't have any snow this winter at all. But you keep saying we might get some, but never did. Here comes the tunnel I was expecting, we get us through these hills I think. Yep, not too long a tunnel. Whether that would be the last one, I wouldn't like to say, but... I don't think we came in on this road. I'm not sure, but I don't think we came in on this road, so I think this could all be new road we're exploring here. I would swear to it, but... I don't really remember the road that we came in on, to be honest. Should do really, shouldn't I? But mind you, many of the roads in the day will look quite similar, so very possible you could be on a different road. I don't actually realise it as such unless you check the world map and see exactly where you are. Okay, so let's see if there's anything coming down here. No, not for a while. Let me get out there. That's fine. Trailer safely round. On we go. We're down to 966 miles to go now. 31 hours driving time according to the sat map. But as I say, some of that will be a ferry. And I suspect that might take a fair chunk out of it, to be honest. It's nice that we've got a daylight run at this point. It's going to get dark a bit later, but with a bit of luck, our rest will take us through most of the dark period, so better visibility on the video. It's always a nice thing. Gives you a much better chance to appreciate all this beautiful scenery when it's light. You can't avoid driving at night at some points. You're 11 hours driving time after you rest. At some point you're going to be driving in the dark again. I guess that's what truckers have to do. I'll get to the rest periods they're required to take. With tacos and everything. Um, they, you know, do the best they can to get everywhere they're going, I guess, as quickly as possible. 
The tachograph is a really good thing. Sort of forces truck drivers to take regular breaks, which is a good thing, much safer on the roads. You wouldn't want terribly tired truck drivers driving around. Especially when they're towing a heavy load, a really heavy vehicle. You want the driver to be have his wits about him, as you might say. So we're heading on towards Oslo at the moment. Oslo's the capital of Norway. That's the way we're headed right now. At least that's what the signs are saying, so... Bit of a farming area there. So that's a farm or something to our left. There's a couple of services on this road already, now there's a sign for another one, so it doesn't look like it's a um, major problem finding services in this area, which is a good thing. Worth bearing in mind for the future if we come back this way and need fuel or rest. Some of those trees look typically Norwegian pine trees, I think. A lot of Christmas trees get farmed in Norway. Why am I imagining things I have? I've got the feeling that you get Norwegian pine trees, don't you, for Christmas? Well, I guess they can be grown pretty much anywhere. I don't know if they require a specific climate, but I seem to have something in the back of my mind that thinks about Norway and Christmas trees. So, there you go. Oops. Okay, so we're speeding again. Let's enable the cruise control. We're well, technically unable it at 51. Up to 48 would be fine. I haven't seen many police cars since we came into Norway, but I bet they're around. And if you're speeding, you'll suddenly get one come up behind you, lights flashing, sirens going, and you got a speeding fine. Lovely interactive police cars. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that might, might be a bit of a pain that you can get speeding fines a lot more. Um, I think it's good. I like the interactive police car idea. I think that's a good addition to the game from SCS. We do seem to keep coming up with new things and DLCs and um, you know development of the game, which is good. It's obviously got a good product life cycle, and they keep adding new things all the time. I think that's what you want from a game. You want it to develop and and change and keep you challenged, if you like. Don't want it to get stale, as you might say. Okay, so this road is a bit narrow down here and a bit windy. I'm just going to keep an eye on my speed coming through here. Oh, he's getting tired. What we got, an hour and a half? Hopefully there will be services or possibly even the border before too long. Where we can find a rest area. So this will be quite a short video for this first section down as far as our first rest. Hopefully only rest if we get the rest of the um, resting time on the ferry that would be good. See if it works out that way. I 
think the ferry's still quite away from here, so we're not going to make the ferry without resting first somewhere. So all we need now is to find somewhere, really. I think it makes sense as I'm in an area I've not explored before, not to push my luck, hoping there's more services just down the road, but if I come across somewhere to rest and take advantage of it, straight away sort of thing so I think that's what we need to do we came past several sets of services a little while ago probably means now we won't see any but absolutely miles heading towards Oslo you would have thought there'd be some services on the way down into Oslo somewhere wouldn't you Quite windy road. Don't know if that's typical of Norway, but this road is certainly quite windy. Quite steeply downhill at the moment as well. around these rocks by the look of it. Ah, services, look. Ooh -hoo. Right, I'm going to stop there then. That will do nicely. Still no need for fuel, so we'll just rest, end the video, and then you'll join me in the next episode, straight away from after we've rested and heading our way on the rest of the journey. We're down to about 850 miles to go, so not doing bad, we've done like a couple hundred miles or so. Okay, so this service uh, is here, it's on our side of the road. Couldn't be better, really. Let's just head into there. No fuel, thank you. I just need some rest time. We'll head over to here. With a bit of luck, we get into here. Can you tell me I can rest? Hmm, doesn't like that very much. Probably not straight enough. look from overhead and see if I can see what the issue is. Mm, well, let's pull forward a bit. And straighten the trailer out. There we go, that did it. So I'll just to hold that there and then that will do. Oh, I would have done. And let's try that. So turn the engine off and rest. Inspector to forward view. Okay, so that will be sorry, had me foot on the brake. There we go, that's better. So that'll be the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one when we'll continue our journey to Estonia. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for further updates, and I'll see you soon. Happy trucking. Bye now.